the stones is strong, but where the names run wide. There's a podcast going on. It's the story of the super mean child. Ooh, yeah. He's got tales to tell from the corners of the internet. Where the memes are born and the legends are said. Welcome to the Human Meme Podcast. I'm AI David Bowles, and along with our crack bot AI research team, we have this conversation for you today. Exploring the future of inclusive toys, moving beyond disabilities. Together, we will discover the human implications of toys designed to celebrate and educate about disabilities. This pathway ventures beyond the current landscape of inclusivity and play, examining the potential future where advancements in science and technology might eliminate disabilities altogether. We ponder the role of these toys in a world transformed by such advancements. Will they become relics of a bygone era, or will they be cherished as symbols of humanity's upward movement towards understanding and empathy? The introduction of toys that explain, educate, and celebrate disabilities marks a pivotal moment in the history of toy manufacturing. Companies like Lego, Mattel, American Girl, Playmobil, Lottie Dolls, and Hasbro have stepped into a realm that goes beyond mere play. They've embarked on a mission to reshape perceptions, foster empathy, and promote inclusivity from the earliest stages of human development. Take, for instance, Lego's groundbreaking move in 2016 to introduce a minifigure in a wheelchair. This wasn't just a new toy. It was a bold statement about the importance of representing all aspects of human diversity. It sent a clear message that everyone belongs in the playful, imaginative worlds that children create. Mattel, with its Barbie Fashionistas line, has significantly contributed to this narrative by including dolls with prosthetic limbs, wheelchairs, skin disease, and even a Barbie with no hair. These dolls offer children a mirror to see themselves and windows to see others, teaching them the value of diversity and the beauty of being unique. American Girl's approach, through accessories and stories highlighting different disabilities, not only enriches playtime, but also educates children on the varied experiences of others, encouraging understanding and empathy. Playmobil and Lottie Dolls have similarly contributed by normalizing disability through their inclusive figures and accessories, such as characters with wheelchairs, cochlear implants, and other mobility aids. These toys play a crucial role in helping children understand and accept differences in mobility and communication as natural parts of the human experience. Hasbro's efforts to make traditional toys and games more accessible demonstrate a commitment to ensuring that all children, regardless of their abilities, can enjoy the fundamental joy of play. The significance of these toys extends far beyond the realm of play. They serve as early educators and influencers, shaping perceptions and attitudes toward disabilities. By integrating representations of disabilities into toys, these companies are not only acknowledging the presence of disabilities in society, but are also championing the cause of inclusivity. A standout in this disability toy exploration is the Hot Wheels Twin Mill Car, a pioneering product that introduced Braille on its body, spelling twin on one side and mill on the other, and hash 68 in Braille on the back of the car. This collaboration between Hot Wheels and the National Federation of the Blind created a toy that's not only a thrill to play with, but also an educational tool that promotes inclusivity. 
This Braille Racer twin mill car is a shining example of how tactile experiences make a difference of inclusion for children with visual impairments so they too may engage in the joy of racing and imagination. Oh, and the significance of the hash 68 in Braille on the back of the twin mill's Hot Wheels car is a nod to the year 1968, which is a pivotal year in Hot Wheels history. The year 1968 marks the debut of the original Hot Wheels lineup, making it the birth year of the Hot Wheels brand. This detail on the HW Braille Racer. Twin Mill serves as a tribute to the brand's origins and its long-standing legacy in the toy car industry. The Twin Mill itself is one of Hot Wheels' first original designs, further emphasizing the importance of the year 1968 to the brand and its enthusiasts. In addition to the Hot Wheels Braille Racer Twin Mill, the Go Baby Go program offers another remarkable approach to inclusivity in toys. This initiative provides modified ride-on cars for young children with disabilities, enabling them to move around independently. Founded by Professor Cole Galloway, Go Baby Go extends beyond a single toy to a community effort, training volunteers across numerous communities to adapt and customize ride-on cars for children's unique needs. This hands-on approach not only promotes mobility and independence for children with disabilities, but also fosters a sense of inclusion and normalcy in play. The passage of the Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA, in 1990 was a landmark moment in civil rights legislation aimed at prohibiting discrimination against individuals with disabilities in all areas of public life, including jobs, schools, transportation, and all public and private places that are open to the general public. The impact of the ADA has reverberated across various sectors, including the toy industry, although its influence there is more nuanced and indirect compared to areas like employment, public accommodation, and accessibility standards. The ADA's emphasis on inclusivity and accessibility has gradually permeated the toy industry, pushing companies to consider how their products can be accessible to all children, including those with disabilities. The Toy Association, recognizing the importance of ADA compliance, has offered webinars to help companies ensure their digital content, such as websites and mobile apps, are accessible to people with disabilities. This initiative underscores a growing awareness within the industry that inclusivity extends beyond physical toys to digital spaces where children interact with brands and products. Moreover, the broader societal shift towards inclusivity, partly spurred by the ADA, has seen toy companies endeavor to be more inclusive. This includes offering dolls with disabilities, female superhero figures, and characters with a range of skin tones. Major players like Mattel and Hasbro have joined smaller companies in this effort, expanding their offerings to include toys that reflect a wider variety of experiences and identities, signaling an ongoing change in how the industry views and represents diversity. However, the correlation between the ADA's enactment and the release of toys specifically designed for children with disabilities is not straightforward. The law primarily targets discrimination and accessibility in public services and employment, not explicitly mandating the production of toys for children with disabilities. Nonetheless, the cultural shift towards greater awareness and acceptance of people with disabilities, partly due to the ADA, has encouraged toy manufacturers to consider inclusivity as a valuable aspect of product development. There has been some public and media discourse around toys designed for children with disabilities, often framed positively as steps toward inclusivity and representation. Negative responses are less commonly highlighted in mainstream media, which tends to focus on the progressive aspects of these toys. 
The overall effect appears to be a slow but steady movement towards recognizing and celebrating diversity in all its forms, including within the realm of play. Venturing into the future, the concept of toys that celebrate disabilities opens up a myriad of philosophical and ethical considerations. As we move towards a horizon where science and technology promise unprecedented advances in healthcare, the possibility of eradicating disabilities altogether beckons with both hope and introspection. Should a future arrive where disabilities are entirely eliminated through scientific and technological breakthroughs, the nature of toys celebrating disabilities would undoubtedly undergo a profound transformation. Rather than becoming unnecessary, these toys might be seen as historical artifacts, testaments to humanity's growth towards understanding, inclusion, and empathy. They could serve as poignant reminders of the challenges faced by individuals with disabilities and the societal shifts towards embracing diversity in all its forms. This evolution could be perceived positively marking a milestone in human progress where every individual enjoys unhindered physical and cognitive abilities. However, it also invites a critical examination of what it means to be human in the absence of diversity brought about by disabilities. The celebration of disabilities through toys reflects a broader societal acknowledgement of diversity's intrinsic value, a recognition that differences enrich the human experience rather than diminish it. In this future landscape, toy companies that currently focus on creating products for or celebrating individuals with disabilities might find their mission evolving. Instead of ceasing to exist, these companies could pivot towards preserving the legacy of inclusivity and empathy that their products embody. They could become champions of diversity in broader terms ensuring that the lessons learned from embracing disabilities inform future generations about the importance of acceptance and understanding in a post-disability world. These companies could also innovate in new directions using their expertise in accessible design to address emerging needs in an evolving society. Their legacy could be one of pioneering inclusivity, not just for disabilities, but for any form of diversity that might emerge as humanity progresses. As for how current toys celebrating disabilities will be viewed, it's likely they will be cherished as symbols of a time when society actively worked to bridge gaps and heal divisions. They may be seen not as reflections of morose reflexivity, but as milestones along the path to a more inclusive and empathetic world. This transition would underscore the importance of remembering our collective history, acknowledging where we've come from to appreciate how far we've traveled and anticipate the challenges yet to come. In this conversation, we've traversed the landscape of inclusivity in toy design, acknowledging the strides made by companies to reflect and honor the diversity of human experience. We've speculated on a future where disabilities might be erased by scientific marvels. Yet the essence of what these toys represent, a celebration of diversity, empathy, and inclusion, remains timeless. These toys, and the discussions they spark, remind us that our strength as a society lies in our ability to embrace and learn from our differences. They challenge us to consider not just the future of play, but the values we wish to carry forward into a world transformed by technology. As we reflect on the legacy of inclusive toys, let us not lose sight of their most profound lesson. That understanding and embracing diversity enriches us all in ways that transcend the physical and touch the very core of our humanity. For the Human Meme Podcast, I'm AI David Bowles. Wishing you a bright evening and a good tomorrow. Be a human meme. Tune into the air, we stare to podcasts on the rise. It's the human meme, gonna hit you by surprise. They're talking about the culture, the trends that keep us hooked. With every episode, you'll be laughing off the hook, yeah. Meme it up, get your laugh to throw it. Gotta get those funny bones in motion. Human being, they're the real deal oh, yeah. Podcast laughter, that's
just how they feel Ooh, baby Mean it up, come on, don't hesitate Get ready to relate, don't make you feel great You and me, bringing the memes to the scene oh, yeah. Let's name it up, look in the podcast stream oh. Meme it up, meme it up, meme it up